The vial inside this block of acrylic contains xenon under very high pressure. You can see the xenon is uh, partially in the liquid phase. You can see a little line marking uh, the level, the fill level with a liquid xenon. We achieved this by simply cooling it a little bit with items from the freezer. Something around zero degrees will be sufficient to quickly turn it into the, uh, the liquid phase. Now, if we speed things up a little, you will see how the liquid phase begins to expand and take more and more room as the temperature increases, but only just until we reach the critical temperature. This is quite fascinating to watch, as you can see how the density decreases more and more until we reach that critical temperature, and then an aggregate state change will occur, and it will occur very rapidly. Let's have a closer look at the xenon while it's still there in a liquid phase. You can see it quite well like this. So I'll proceed with shaking the liquid xenon in order to facilitate the process and make it turn into the gaseous phase. The liquid xenon will not boil away like water does but pretty much instantaneously disappear with just a layer of fog, which is a phenomenon called critical opalescence. Now take a very close look at the still liquid xenon. See this blue, this blue fog, and then it's gone. You can see it's gone. Well, it's not gone, it's in a gaseous phase, and the entire liquid phase of xenon has disappeared. You can see, no matter how I shake it or hold it, you will no longer see a liquid face. Put it down like it was before. Nope. No more liquid. Everything is in gaseous form now. Quite an awesome element sample if you ask me, so I hope you enjoyed it as well and, as usual, thanks for watching.